Hey, what's up guys? Today's Friday, and here's the guy who was missing from the last video. Sorry about that. A lot of people complain. Anyway, my break is pretty much ended. Uh, I have to go back to school on Monday, which really sucks. Not looking forward to it at all. But as I had previously predicted, Skyrim pretty much has taken over my life, and the lives of pretty much everyone else I know. Even more is here, has a great time watching me uh, traverse the land. But enough about Skyrim. Today I kind of wanted to talk about movies. Putting it simply, I hate movies. There's a very few amount of movies that I actually enjoy, and I guess the reason for that is because most movies have pretty much the exact same plotline. I mean, it's pretty true if you think about it. In a ton of movies, no matter even like what it's about or anything like that, there's always a romantic subplot, where the unsuspecting hero gets the girl of his dreams. There is one romantic movie that I really do like though, and I know Christian will totally agree with me on this. 500 Days of Summer is a great movie. If you haven't seen it, then I suggest you really do. It's probably on Netflix or something like that. You know, there's kind of a lot I wanted to say about movies or whatever, but now that I'm thinking about the ideas that I wanted to say and everything, they're boring me, so I'm pretty sure they would bore you. So, yeah, I'm just going to talk about something else. But first, I might as well list my uh, favorite movies. Actually, I'm not a fan of keeping lists, but these are the movies that I would call my favorite. Rocky Horror Picture Show, obviously. Uh, Rubber, if you haven't seen that, then I definitely recommend it. It's one of the weirdest movies I've ever seen, which is a good thing, definitely a good thing. It's about a tire that has telekinesis and feelings and stuff, and it just blows people's heads up. Yeah, it's a great film. Hobo with a Shotgun is one of the greatest movies I have ever seen in my entire life. Here, the end. And if you really plan on watching that, which it's on Netflix, so it wouldn't be that hard, just keep this in mind. You do know shit about bears. Spirited Away is a fantastic film. If you haven't seen it, it's a great anime. It's probably the only anime that I've ever enjoyed. I'm not a huge fan of anime films or whatever, but, uh, yeah. When I was young, I really liked the movie Master of Disguise. That was one of my favorite movies. That and Joe Dirt, those were both movies that I would watch all the time. Beetlejuice is a fantastic film. I really liked that movie when I was a kid, and I still like it now. Oh, and also, uh, another romantic movie that I enjoy is The Notebook. Yeah, Call Me a Girl or whatever, I don't really care. It's a good film. I could tell the ending about 10 minutes in, but, eh, I mean, it was a good ride, I guess. I don't know. It was... It was a decent film. Other than that, I don't really have any other movies like straight off the top of my head that I could list that I enjoy. For the record, if it's a terrible movie, I probably will really enjoy it. Oh, with a room, which is one of the most terrible movies ever made. That's one of my most favorite movies. And if you haven't ever seen the room before, then you're tearing me apart. Yeah, just just watch it. Anyway, enough about movies. So yesterday I went to Esplanade Mall with a few friends. All of them were from Dorm Room TV, and they had this brand new arcade there and it was called Coin It Up. So we are like, oh cool, a brand new arcade. Like, we expected it to be really awesome. Because the old arcade that they had at that mall was, it was pretty neat. It wasn't the best, but I mean, it was it was nice. It was good to have in a mall. So we walk into Coin It Up and immediate, immediate disappointment. See, so on the sign it said, Coin It Up, grand opening. So I figured it would have brand new arcade games and just like awesome stuff all around. No. It didn't, not even a little bit. It was about a quarter of the size of my room, and it had, like, games that hadn't even been in arcades for, like, ten years. Was that the floors were completely just sticky. Which, I mean, if you've ever been in any arcade, oh, this floor is always stick. But this was the grand opening. Like, it was the brand new. They didn't have anything in there that would make the floor this sticky. Like, honestly, the biggest game that they had there was trying to unstick your feet from the floor. And I forgot who it was, but they said, why are the floors so sticky? And I was just like, Oh, they're just trying to keep it as authentic as possible. Yeah, yeah that that wasn't funny. Oh well. Also, I don't know about you guys, but going to CC's was probably one of my most favorite things to do when I was a kid. Because hell, you get pizza, as much pizza as you want. And then they also have an arcade. Granted, it was a crappy arcade. I mean, I knew that when I was a kid, but I just enjoyed it anyway. I mainly just played the game where you could get candy from, you know, the crane game. And I figured that was a smart move because one, you get candy, and two, that crane game, you cannot lose at it because you get unlimited tries until you actually get a piece of candy. Plus it only costs one token, so I was like, yeah, this is the best game here. Man, I really need to go to CC's. Anyway, this video is uh, getting pretty long, I think. I don't know. I haven't edited it yet or anything, but yeah, I think it's getting pretty long. So yeah, I think I'm going to sign off now. Morris, come over here. Say goodbye, everyone, Morris. Alright, close enough. So Joe, we'll see you tomorrow, you'll see me next week, and farewell, citizen.